Hello world, my name is Victor Engelmann. Welcome back to this video series on professional network design using Linux. So everything we did so far, I've done on Raspberry Pis, right? I mean, I've uh, put the DHCP server on there, the DNS server, a firewall, routing, everything on Raspberry Pis. And I love my Raspberry Pis, don't get me wrong, but um, I've had too many problems in the past with them, uh, especially with SD cards breaking. So um, I don't, uh, I'm not confident enough to put my entire network into the hands of a Raspberry Pi. So because of that, I've decided to uh, get a little mini PC here. Uh, this is a Lenovo Think Center. Um, my wife gave it to me for Christmas. And um, yeah, now I will put an OpenSense firewall on it um, because I also want a web interface to the firewall. You know, doing all this stuff through SSH as a Linux expert is uh, good and everything, but um, I want this to be usable for my wife also, for example, and um, she is not into Linux as much as I am. So. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a good compromise and um, yeah, let's uh, put OpenSense on that mini PC. I've already opened OpenSense.org. Now let's go and download OpenSense. Here we can select the architecture. Okay, AMD64 is the only thing I can select here. In the image type, um, I'm not sure what uh, they all do. Serial, I think, uh, would allow me to connect to some serial interface and uh, communicate through a serial connection. But um, yeah, I don't really like that idea. So I will take this VGA here, which is a USB installer image with live system capabilities running in VGA mode um, because that will allow me to um, to hook this up to a monitor and then I can see what's going on on a monitor okay and with serial I think I would have to yeah connect with a serial console and uh, yeah I don't want to do that right now so I will take VGA let's see um, a mirror close me let's take Lee's web and now it's downloading okay let's finish downloading let's extract it Okay, now it's done unpacking. It's uh, 1.5 gigabytes. So let's put this on a USB stick. Yeah, I will write this to the USB stick. What is the mount point? Uh, what's the device name of the USB stick? The USB stick is SDB. So we can now write the image to the stick using DD sudo dd input file open sense image and output file dev sdb
Okay, now it's done putting the image on the USB stick. And yeah, now we can use that just as you would normally do with Linux systems. Um, you just use that stick now as a boot medium. So So I will plug this in um, and now I will hook this up with a monitor and keyboard and mouse. While the machine is booting I'm pressing F12 to get into the BIOS setup. And now I go down to enter setup, go to startup and primary boot sequence. The USB stick is already configured as a boot device so I don't have to change anything and can just exit the BIOS setup. Now OpenSense is booting. I'm not doing anything, I'll just let it boot with its default settings. Okay, now I log in as root with password OPN sense to change the IP address because 192.168.11 is a very common IP address and I don't want it to uh, collide with anything. I'm using DHCP, but um, but I had forgotten to plug in the network cable, and uh, yeah, because of that, DHCP fails here. So I go through the IP address setup again with option 2, this time without DHCP. I'll give it the IP address 10.11.253 because the Raspberry Pi is still in the network and already has 10.11.254. And yeah, of course, I will use a 24 net mask as I've always done. I'll set up my Fritz box as upstream gateway 10.1.1.1. One. And I will also use it as name server. I won't configure IPv6 now. By pressing enter without entering anything, I disable IPv6. I don't want a DHCP server. And yeah, as you can see, now I have 10.11.253 as an IP address. So now I log out and to install 
OpenSense now I log in using the username installer also with the password OPN Sense. That's a bit uh, unusual, but that's how OpenSense works. So remember to install, you log in as user named installer and uh, also with the password OPN Sense. I select the German key map. Now, as a file system, uh, I think ZFS is maybe overkill, so I will use UFS. And I'll select my hard drive as uh, destination. Yes, I will use swap space. And now it's installing. I won't change the root password now. Uh, I will just exit instead. Now it reboots. I unplug the USB stick so that it uh, so that the machine boots from the hard drive and not from USB. And as you can see, OpenSense was successfully installed. It's now booting OpenSense from the hard drive. Okay, so now OpenSense is installed on this. Um, it was relatively uh, comparable to a normal Linux installation. So now I will unplug my Raspberry Pi and plug in this instead. Okay, now to use this, we have to go to our web browser and open this um, IP address that we've configured 10.1.1.253. There. Here is the OpenSense login mask. And yeah, now we can log in with root and the password OPN sends. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll save the password for now, but uh, we really should change the uh, password. Okay. So when we start this for the first time, it uh, will offer us to run some wizard, but I don't want to do that. I will go to the interfaces and start configuring the VLANs. So this is in interfaces, other types, VLAN. And here we can add interfaces. Yeah, I only have one actual physical network interface, EM0. So uh, not much of a choice here. Um, so then I will set the VLAN tag for VLAN 2. And yeah, save. Now 
apply. Okay, now that we've created this, we have to assign it. So our regular local area network here is running on EM0. And now I will create VLAN 2 um, running on this uh, virtual interface here. Add. Okay, and now notice I now have two um, entries here, one for LAN, which is VLAN 1, and the other one is for VLAN 2. Let's enable the interface. We'll give it a static IPv4 address. Within VLAN 2, we will give it 10, 1, 2, 254. And actually, let's also prevent interface removal, because why not? Save. Okay, apply changes. Okay, now to test this, we can go to diagnostics here, ping, and let's ping 10, 1, 2, 100, our old DHCP server. We could select VLAN 2, but I think this should work anyways. I will just say default. Okay, so what has it done? I tried to ping 100, but it seems like it's tried doing this on VLAN 1, so it went to the uh, to my Fritz box, and my Fritz box tried to redirect it through the old um, router 10.1.1.254, which I've unplugged. So uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Let's see VLAN 2. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this shouldn't be 32-bit netmask, this should be 24. Save, apply. Don't forget to apply. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Diagnostics, ping, 10, 1, 1, uh, 10, 1, 2, 100. And yeah, now it worked. Look at this, yes. Okay, so uh, this is already a lot that we've done so far. So let me go to system, access, users, root and change the root password. Save, okay. And now let's uh, go to lobby, log out, and test that root OPN sense doesn't work anymore. Wrong username or password. Okay. With the new password, I could log in now. Again, uh, never leave uh, anything on their default passwords. And uh, yeah, I think that's enough for today. If you liked this video, like it, share it, subscribe, and see you next time.